or Gemini Trust Company, and Barry Silbert's Digital Currency Group were sued by New York's top law enforcement officer for allegedly defrauding customers of $1.1 billion, escalating legal woes for companies hit hard by last year's plunge in cryptocurrency markets. Similar lawsuit filed Thursday by New York Attorney General Letitia James accuses Gemini, which operated a crypto exchange and DCG's Genesis Global Capital Unit, of failing to disclose to investors the risks of a crypto lending program they started in 2021. The venture's assets collapsed last year amid several high-flying bankruptcies, including Sam Bankman frieds FTX. Uh, Gemini, founded by Tyler Winklevoss and Cameron Winklevoss, lied to customers about how risky loans were in its venture with Genesis and failed to disclose that at one point, almost 60% of its third-party loans were to Bank and Freed's crypto trading firm Alameda Research, the state claims. Genesis and DCG were accused in the suit of trying to conceal a spiral in the losses. The claims by New York come after the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission in January sued Genesis and Gemini over their failed crypto lender joint venture known as Gemini Urm. Meanwhile, the three firms have also engaged in suing each other in the wake of sector woes. Genesis, which filed for bankruptcy in January, later sued its parent DCG, seeking to recover about $620 million in outstanding loans. Gemini has also sued DCG as well as Silbert seeking to recover damages and losses from alleged fraud and related to Gemini Earn. The, um, the alleged fraud by the companies um, is yet another example of bad actors causing harm throughout the underregulated uh, cryptocurrency uh, industry. And James said in a statement, uh, my office will continue our efforts to stop uh, deceptive cryptocurrency companies and to push for stronger regulations to protect all investors, uh, said the attorney general who has sought to position herself as leading crypto enforcer. Uh, DCG in a statement uh, said it has always conducted business lawfully and with integrity and that the company will fight the state's allegations. Uh, and we have actively cooperated for months with the Attorney General's investigation in an open and transparent manner, DCG said. We were blindsided by the filing of the complaint and there is no evidence of any wrongdoing by DCG Barry Silbert, or its employees. Uh, Gemini, um, and, uh, and applauded the complaint against Genesis and DCG, uh, but said that we wholly disagree with the NYAG's decision uh, to also sue Gemini, uh, blaming a victim for being defrauded and, and lied to uh, makes no sense. Um, and we look forward to defending ourselves against this inconsistent position. Uh, representatives for Genesis uh, didn't respond to a request comment. Uh, uh, Gemini Earn uh, purported to generate as much as 8% interest for Gemini customers by allowing Genesis to lend their crypto sets to third parties. But more than a billion dollars was invested in Three Euros Capital, a hedge fund that failed in mid-2022, leaving a hole in Genesis' balance sheet, according to the lawsuit. Around the same time, Genesis lost more than $100 million um, from another borrower. Uh, Babel Finance, James said, um, uh, in a separate statement, uh, Silber called the allegations baseless. Honesty and integrity have always been my guiding principles, Silbert said. Last year, my DCG's goal was to help Genesis weather the storm caused by the collapse of Three Arrows and position Genesis for success going forward. It is unfortunate that this lawsuit omits that fundamental fact. Now, Genesis is accused in a suit of failing to adequately audit Three Arrows and lying to Gemini when it claimed to regularly uh, review its borrowers' financial statements, James said. The state's probe um, found that uh, no such audit had been performed for more than two years. Um, she said, um, 
in July 2022, Gemini's board of managers considered ending the Gemini Aaron program due to the Genesis risks, with one board member comparing the company's financial condition to Lehman Brothers James said in her statement. But Gemini failed to provide its investors with any meaningful warnings about these risks, she said. And the complaint noted that Gemini's chief operations officer, who also sat on Gemini's Enterprise Risk Management Committee, withdrew his entire remaining earned investment, totaling more than $100,000, on June 16th and June 17th, 2022. The filing didn't name the executive. Noah Perlman was Gemini's chief operating officer from August 2020 through January. According to his LinkedIn profile, he then joined Binance, the world's biggest crypto exchange, as its chief compliance officer. Perlman then immediately responded to our request for comment. Uh, other Gemini risk management personnel withdrew their own investments from Earn between uh, June and September as well, according to the complaint. And during a meeting on October 20 last year, Silver informed Cameron Winklevoss that Genesis Capital could not redeem earn investors' funds without Genesis Capital declaring bankruptcy. The complaint said the Gemini secretly granted Genesis Capital multiple extensions to return investor funds. Uh, Silbert and former uh, Genesis Chief Executive Officer uh, Michael Morrow, both of whom are named as defendants in the suit, are accused of repeatedly lying to investors as well as to Gemini about the financial woes. Genesis allegedly hid from Gemini the existence of a $1 million promissory note that was created to conceal the extent of its losses, according to the complaint. James said that some investors lost their life savings. The state said it wants to ban Gemini, uh, Genesis, and DCG from uh, uh, the financial investment industry in New York. Uh, James also is seeking restitution for investors and uh, a disgorging of the companies. Uh, Allegedly, ill-gotten gains.